you all remember the great um, Ralph Waldo Emerson's most famous quote on the planet? He said, do the thing, have the power. Do the thing, have the power. Then he said, do not the thing, have not the power. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I want a little more power. How about you guys? Yeah. So guess what? You don't make your phone calls, you don't have the power. You don't do your open houses, you don't have the power. You don't use your CRM, you don't have the power. You don't do your follow-up, you don't have the power. It's a conscious decision that you're making to basically eat kryptonite. Do you guys get that? No, do you get that? Yeah. Look at look your buddy right in the hand and say, baby, this is your business. No, no, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Some of you are like, Okay, am I going to call that dude baby right now? <laughs> Notice the gals are like, baby. Do me a favor. Look your buddy right in the eye and say, this is your business. Say it again. Right? I don't know about you guys. Yell out loud if you have children, how many children you have. Okay, I have three. My oldest one, Michael, my next one, Steven, and my third one, Ferry International. <laughs> you with me? And they're all super important to me. The last one has 385 employees and coaches that work for it. Can I, can I be interested with that many people I'm on the line for? I'm married to the same woman who, for 28 years who says to me all the time, like, honey, are you doing the right stuff? I'm like, baby. I'm 28 years, like, I, yes, I'm doing the right, just checking, right? She's on me, I screw up, things are bad at home. How about you guys? How about you guys? I follow a philosophy, happy wife is happy life. Yeah. It's very simple, and mama's not happy if I'm not doing my work. Now, I don't know how it rolls in your house, maybe you guys have hallway sex, I don't know. <laughs> you guys know hallway sex? You walk past your babe and you're like, screw you in the hallway. And like, that's it? Add that to your 90-day cycle. Some of you will get that later. So I would, I would challenge you to say, with all the things I'm going to share with you guys today, if you're not thinking about 90-day cycles, right? I got to do this for 90 days. It doesn't mean you're going to do it 90 days in a row. It could be a Monday through Friday thing. It could be just on Saturdays and Sundays for open houses, but you're doing it for 90 days and you're tracking and measuring the results. And then you start to see, wait a minute, I'm actually really good at this. When I'm consistent, this thing really starts to work. And then you reflect back on the past where you're rich, poor, rich, poor, rich, poor, year is over. And the poor wipes people out, right or wrong guys? Right or wrong guys? Okay, I'm just keeping it real. And the last one is this. No more blaming resources. I don't have any money to spend. Who cares? Do you have a hand? Knock on doors. I'm dead serious. Do you have a phone? Has the bill been paid? Call people. The number of people that say to me, Tom, I can't do it because I can't afford this and I can't afford that and I can't afford this. And then I say, huh, my mom raised the four of us as a single mom while my dad was gone. The dad that you guys know, the successful dude who flies around in jets, was not the kid I grew up with. You guys with me on this? He was slug faceted out trying to figure out how to make like fifty dollars to $60,000 a year as a speaker in like 1978, right? You go back to those times, he was the most resourceful person I'd ever met in my life. We need to take responsibility and say, it's my business. If it's going to happen, I got to do it. Does that make sense? And if you let yourself off the hook in your business, you let yourself off the hook everywhere. Right or wrong, guys? Okay, do me a favor and just look at your body and say, he really does love us. <laughs> do you get it? Like, I'm saying this from love, man. But here's the thing. There's 1.4 million agents, and I want to put my arms on all of them and give them a giant hug, and then I want to punch them all in the throat. <laughs> Right? I don't care what your average sales price is. One of my clients did a $78 million deal last year. Is that good? Yeah. Right? Another one of my clients did a $200 million deal the same year. And you know what I said to him? That counts as one. <laughs> your goal is 38 transactions. He's like, but it's a really big one. I'm like, shut the front door. It's one deal. Go get me more. Because you said 38 transactions. Does that make sense? And do you think he was happy because I did that? What do you think? Because what would most people do when they sell the biggest, most expensive deal of their life? What do they do? <laughs> and I, I wish that on all of you. I wish on all of you the most successful sale in the biggest year ever and all of that. Does that make sense?
Okay, are we in? Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna actually do the seminar, so let's go.